Number 14 requires some explanation. It's called flexible exposure mode, and it works kind of like PASNM. It only applies in movie mode, and it was borrowed from the Sony Venice line of video cameras. In order for it to make sense, let me remind you of how the AEL button works. Most of you already know this already. It stands for Auto Exposure Lock. I have mine currently programmed to AEL toggle, and it's used for difficult lighting situations. For example, let's say that's my source of light. I want this meter for that. I hit the, I put my subject in the center. I hit the AEL button. Notice the star in the lower right-hand corner. That means the exposure is locked. I can point it anywhere else now, and that exposure is not going to change until I hit the AEL button again, in which case it now auto-exposes again. Great. Here's the new video mode that gives you more control over what changes when you go back to auto exposure. You can find this. Oh, you won't. The menus change depending on whether you're in stills mode or whether you're in moving mode. You have to be in moving mode in order for this one to appear. So let me do that. Here we go. So camera menu, shooting mode, and you want to go to where this one, exposure control type. Normally it's PASNM mode, but for this, you want to choose flexible exposure mode. And then when you do that, you get this wonderful instruction screen saying, okay, these three buttons and dials are all being reassigned. Number one is for the aperture. Number two is for ISO. And number three, which is actually the C4 button, is for your shutter speed. Here's how it works. When invoked, you're in exposure lock mode all the time. If you want to change anything, you press one of these three buttons, and that determines what changes to brighten it up. For example, I'm going to hit the C1 button right now, and that will change the f-stop, which is already at f2.8, and as you can tell, nothing much has changed. I'm going to press it again to lock the exposure. You can see the shutter speed is set to 1 8,000th of a second. I want to change that to brighten things up. So I hit the C4 button once. The 8,000th of a second changes to a 640th of a second. Great. I hit the C4 button again, and the exposure is now locked again. The C2 button is actually ISO. It will actually go and change the ISO from something fixed to something that the auto exposure says, okay, that looks 18% great to me. 